Here's the thing. I don't really like using the V-Log color profile on the GH5. Do I use it sometimes? Yes. Do I have more color control? Yeah. Better dynamic range with the V-Log? Mm -hmm. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about why the natural color profile on the GH5 is my go-to color profile, and I'll give some tips on using it. Hey, hey. Like a mic check. Mic check, mic check in the color. Yellow. Got a text message. If you're new here, my name is Caleb and I've been doing freelance video production since 2012. But this channel is to help you make your own videos, whether you just started or you've been making them for a while, whether you use the GH5 or any other camera, it would be so awesome if you hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss when new videos come out. Now I'm gonna try something new at the end of this video. I'm gonna read some comments from my previous video, good or bad, and it might be a good opportunity for you to get a shout out. So make sure you're active in that comment section. Now this video is to mostly start a conversation. If you primarily use V log or any other color profile in the GH5, you know what? That's fantastic. Keep using it. But this is why I mainly choose the natural color profile for my videos. So it'd be awesome if you comment below your favorite color profile in the GH5 and why you use it. All right, so let's get into some reasons why I like using the natural color profile on the GH5. And the first reason is I feel like I just get some really great colors from the natural color profile. You know, as long as white balance and lighting is fine, I feel like right at a camera, the natural color profile gives me some great colors, especially when it comes to the greens and the blacks. And I feel like the natural color profile is almost ready to go right out of camera. What is that noise? It's like construction right outside my window. And so that brings me to my next point is that the natural profile is just really easy to work with. Since the colors coming out of the camera are so good, you don't have to spend a lot of time color correcting. As long as you have everything lit right and exposed right, the blacks are almost right where you need them. Now I'd say the only issue I've kind of run into is some of the highlights are a little extreme, but overall the image is really easy to work with, which leads to a very quick turnaround with your videos. So whether you're making YouTube content or shooting client work, I really feel like the natural color profile speeds up your turnaround time. Since you're already getting some great colors and it's super easy to work with, that turnaround time is accelerated. So a lot of my clients are looking for some quick social media hits. So the the faster that I can get that video in, the happier the client is. So the natural color profile, I feel really helps with the quick turnaround. Now this next one might be a little surprising, but I feel like the natural color profile actually takes a LUT really well. Now you may have to dial that LUT way back. I'm talking like 60 to 70%. But from what I've seen, the colors in the natural profile really take those LUTs well. Now this might be a good time to plug my own LUTs. Make sure you check the link in the description and download my free LUTs, which are geared towards this natural color profile. But since the colors are so good in the natural profile, I really think it emphasizes those colors of the LUT, even though you have to dial it back quite a bit. It's another truck. All I wanna do is shoot this video. All I need is like 10 minutes. Now, another reason I really like the natural color profile is because I feel like it performs really well in low light. Now, we all know that the GH5 is not fantastic when it comes to low light performance. And that's especially true shooting in V-Log. Man, if you don't have things exposed right in V-Log, you are screwed. But I feel like with the natural color profile, you at least have a chance when it comes to low light performance. All right, so here are a few tips that I have when shooting in the natural color profile. I mean, obviously when it comes down to it, you need to find the best settings for you and the best way of shooting for yourself. But maybe along the way, a couple of these things might help. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some B-roll up on the screen and I'm going to overlay my settings that I use for the natural color profile. And those are the different levels that I have, like the saturation and sharpness, that type of thing. So like I said, you need to find your settings and you need to find what works for you, but maybe these settings that I have that I've been using on the GH5, they might come in handy, I don't know. So another thing you wanna take into consideration when shooting in the natural color profile is the exposure, especially for skin tones. So one of the things I found with like shooting like something like this or other interviews is that you kind of want your skin tones kind of in that 
60 to 70 IRE range when shooting in the natural color profile. So another way you can measure that is, you know, obviously use your waveform on your GH5 and then use maybe a gray card or something like that and you're, you'll be able to kind of dial that in a little bit closer. And then if you want, you can set your zebra stripes to 70% and that way, once you hit that 70% mark, you know you're gonna start being overexposed. So it's just good to understand the lighting and how the lighting is exposing the skin tones. And what I found is kind of that 60 to 70 range is kind of a good spot to have it. Now, another tip I have is that when you go to edit your natural color profile footage, don't overdo it with the coloring. Like I said before, the coloring coming out of the camera with the natural profile, I feel like is so good that you don't need to do a ton with it. Yes, you can add a LUT, but don't overdo it with the LUT. Even the ones that I have for free for download, you might wanna just dial those back a little bit so that it's not so extreme when it comes to your footage. Now I feel like with the natural color profile, really less is more. That's why you get such quick turnaround and it's so easy to use. You don't need to do a lot to it to get a great final product for your video. So don't overdo it when you're editing, especially with LUTs. Now, if you haven't used the natural color profile in the GH5, I'd encourage you to go out later today or maybe this weekend and try it out and let me know how it went for you. Maybe, maybe put a link down in the comments or something. Now remember, don't forget to comment your favorite color profile on the GH5 and why you use it. Whether it's Vlog, whether it's Cine V, Cine D, any of those color profiles, comment those below. Let me know why you use those color profiles. Join in the conversation. All right, now for something that I've wanted to try for a little while, and I wanna read some comments from my previous video. It might be a good opportunity for you to get a shout out. And I just think it'd be fun, I don't know. And I do apologize if I don't say your name or your production right. So my previous video was called GH5 Video Features Tutorial, in-camera video features you need to be using on your Panasonic GH5. And the first comment that I wanna read, Eric says, hallelujah, perfect, like six exclamation points. Two new things about my GH5, thank you very much. Well, you're welcome, Eric. Hopefully you found it helpful. The next comment that I wanna read is from Tenshi Tenier. And it looks like you're from France, so it's probably Tenier. They said, hi, thank you for the AF tips. Exclamation points. Save my life, keep going. Cheer from France always. Your video help, helps people like us stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, I'm trying to stay safe. And it's so cool to hear from you guys from France and I know from Belgium and Sweden. Like I just love this YouTube community, it's awesome. ZYXXY Digital Media says, great job, exclamation point. I didn't know about the focus transition function. Gonna play with mine tonight, exclamation point. I'm assuming you're talking about the transition. Oh, snap. I'm gonna read two more. One from Paul Feinberg. And Paul, you know I always appreciate you, man. He laughs at the beginning and says, don't even have a Panasonic a camera anymore and still watch these videos lol laugh emoji nice job dude i've said it before and we'll say it again i miss 4k live crop so many exclamation points if i had cash to blow i would buy a camera and lens just for b-roll paul i know you're a sony user but you're always welcome back to this fam and yes the 4k live crop is awesome make sure you guys are using that for b-roll all right the last comment that i'm gonna read is from frank r ice cold productions thanks man question this youtube video are you shooting it in 4k or full hd and are you using 24p great question frank r ice cold productions yes i do shoot my videos in 4k unless i am doing some 120 in full hd sometimes i shoot my b-roll in 120 but one of the great things with the gh5 is that the bit rate is so high that you can really upscale any HD footage and it still looks great in 4K. So you can edit everything in HD and then when you go to export, export it in 4K so that YouTube recognizes that 4K. Because of algorithm stuff and all that, I don't totally know, but it still looks fantastic. You guys, thanks so much for commenting on my videos. I love the conversations. Even if you comment on how disastrous my beard looks, which I have gotten, it would be awesome if you stuck around and maybe checked out one of these videos that's popping up right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.